Outside with meteorologist Stevie Daniels. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, everyone. We're waking up to some extra cloud cover out there this morning out by Parkton. All is looking mainly dry. However, there are some uh, very scattered, widely scattered rain showers that are currently hugging the Mason Dixon line at this moment. They have actually exited the majority of Carroll County and even Baltimore County. Now they're starting to edge into uh, north central portions of Hartford County and Cecil County. So just to the north of Bel Air, that's where we're seeing some of that light, steadier rainfall pushing through at this moment. And that's going to continue over the next hour or so before it starts to taper off. But we have another round of uh, an isolated shower storm that can't be rolled out later on this afternoon. So another round of moisture is set to arrive later on today. We are waking up with temperatures in the 60s and the 70s, so not much of a change from earlier this morning, but we are starting off about 5 to 10 degrees milder. But here's a look right around your lunch hour. Temperatures are going to be up in the upper 80s and in the lower 90s. So I know some uh, city schools are dismissing early today due to the lack of air conditioning. Probably a good call as it's going to be very hot, very humid out there this afternoon and staying warm and muggy this evening. Around 3 to 4 o'clock, a stray pop-up storm is possible right around the Baltimore metro and for areas across southern Maryland and then the first half of tonight is dry. We deal with that extra cloud cover overcast skies will lead us into tomorrow morning and then a cluster of showers and storms will be swiping through from west to east. Some of these storms could actually pack a punch as we head right around the time of the morning rush and it clears out by the mid to late morning hours into the afternoon and evening on Tuesday early Wednesday. We are looking at drier conditions prevailing. But the Storm Prediction Center has issued an, a marginal risk, a level one out of five. So this basically means that any of the strong storms that develop early tomorrow morning will be very isolated and brief in nature. So damaging wind gusts, heavy rainfall, this could actually lead to some isolated instances of flash flooding and also an isolated tornado can't be ruled out. So pretty much all modes of severe weather are on the table for tomorrow. I am also tracking our heat indice values. Today it's going to be feeling like the mid 90s out there, mid 80s for tomorrow and then feeling back like the lower 90s as we head into the middle of the work week, even as we wrap up the work week as well. So taking a quick peek at your seven day forecast, hot and humid today with a high of 90, mid 80s for tomorrow, so slightly cooler with the chance of a few strong storms during the morning drive. Heading into the afternoon, that's when we'll start to see some of that clearing take place. Some chances for some late showers are possible late Wednesday, more widespread showers and storms for Thursday, and then lower humidity as we head into the weekend. Liz? Stevie, some.